Hello, Ray Bohax here for Ageless Eye and Antique Tractor Tip. I'm over at the Firestone Test Farm in Columbiana, Ohio, where Harvey Firestone started to do all of his research on the pneumatic tire. So it's really appropriate that we bring this all together in this Ageless Eye and segment. Now I'm gonna ask you a question, be honest with me. Do you use the internet? Do you use a cell phone? I'm assuming that you said yes. And if that is the case, then why are you not using modern technology to adjust the carburetor on your antique tractor? The proper way to adjust the carburetor would be to integrate modern technology. And it is very simple if you know what to do. You have to make a minimal investment and this air to purchase an air fuel meter. This is an Innovate model air fuel meter that I sourced from Summit Racing, and it's only $288. And we're gonna use it as a tool. And what it does is that it has a wiring harness, it has an oxygen sensor, and a bung that needs to be welded into the pipe. And then once you do that and have that, it, this is gonna be installed as a tool. It's not gonna be installed on a tractor all the time. And you're gonna use it as a tool, and you're gonna be able to adjust the idle mixture, and more importantly, the mixture under load to get the proper, what is called stoichiometric air fuel ratio, the proper mixture of air and fuel to have the best chemical to mechanical energy exchange. I'm gonna go over this very briefly because it is, it is very simplistic. I have a piece of exhaust pipe here. If you do not want to weld the bung onto your tractor exhaust system, you could buy a piece of pipe, attach this to the tailpipe, and put the bung in here and use this as a tool to go from tractor to tractor, and then have the air fuel meter hooked up. The bung would be welded into here, the oxygen sensor would go in here, there's the appropriate wiring harnesses that are all plug and play, you just thread them in, and then you would hook this up to battery voltage. There is a caveat though. Even though they say it runs down to eight volts, you'd probably wanna just hook it up temporarily to a 12 volt battery, just so that you have a, hot, a stronger signal going into it. And then you would have, a, this is not powered up, but you would have a reading on here of what the air fuel ratio is. You'd want an air fuel ratio of around 14 to one, 13.5, 14.2, 14.5, and it's a combination of what the air fuel ratio is and how the tractor runs. This is really a great way of doing it because it takes all of the guesswork out. And you know exactly what the air fuel ratio is. If you could take the oxygen sensor back out, they give you a plug for the bung and nobody knows the wiser. And you would be able to have that thing running like, like it was meant to run on today's modern gasoline. So you have a blessed day and I wanna see these tractors with the air fuel ratio being checked with a meter. Hi, I'm Dave Mowitz. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit subscribe right here if you haven't already, and click that little bell right here to be notified when we post a new video. And click here to see more great videos.